The commissary at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden provides all the animal food and most of the supplies to the animal areas. It would provide everything from the hay that goes to the hoofed animals, to the meat that goes to the carnivores, to the insects that go to many of the animals throughout the zoo. How we approach diets at the zoo is based on how humans eat. We put them into food groups, so you would have a fruit food group and a starch food group and a vegetable food group, etc. For instance, if you have a gorilla, they are going to eat a primate biscuit along with fruits and vegetables um, to make up their diet. But if you have a tiger, it's probably just going to eat raw meat and maybe once a week have a bone. Animals that eat the most food at the zoo would probably be the elephants. If you're to talking about total pounds, um, the manatees eat quite large quantity of lettuce every day. Your largest cost eater would be the Sumatran rhino because they have a very specialized need to eat a browse that we purchase out of California from the San Diego Zoo. Now browse is an edible portion of the tree uh, that is cut and then shipped to us in the form of ficus. Along with the Sumatran rhinos, you would feed it to the camels, the takins, the gorillas, the bonobos, the bears, the elephants, the giraffe, etc. And so there's many animals here at the zoo that we feed seasonal browse to. In doing that, I obviously can't do that all by myself. I need the help of a team, and that team would include myself, the commissary staff, to help bring in the food, um, purchase the food and deliver the food, the veterinarians um, to oversee nutrition as part of their health, the keepers who actually work every day with the animals and feed the animals, and the husband, curator and husbandry staff who oversee those populations and the health and the welfare and the whole picture of the animals. And we work together as a team. If we won't eat it, we won't feed it.